Or in some cases, halfway through your day. And in other cases, partway through your day. Maybe in a few cases, at the end of your day. Whatever which way that the Lord takes you today, that's just the way it is. <laughs> in starting your day, God is always working. Furthermore, brethren, we beg and admonish you in virtue of our union with the Lord Jesus that you follow the instructions which you learn from us about how you ought to walk so as to please and gratify God, as indeed you are doing, and that you do so even more and more abundantly, attaining yet greater perfection in living this life. 1 Thessalonians 4.1 in 1 Thessalonians 2.13, Paul wrote, When you received the message of God, which you heard from us, you welcomed it not as the word of mere men, but as it truly is, the word of God, which is effectually at work in you who believe, exercising its superhuman power in those who adhere to and trust and rely on it. The Bible says that God's word works in those who believe it. So no matter what you see today, believe that God is working on your behalf. You know, that's one of the things that I think I enjoy, but there's more to it than just simply it's going in like food and it's accomplishing its purpose, but God is at work in you, both to do and to will of his good pleasure, so he's conforming you and changing you and making you and rearranging you and causing you to become developed in a certain way by his word as we choose to renew our mind so that helps us to program our responses in a way that we can control our emotions as opposed to being led by them. And as we are renewing our mind, hearing the Word of God, likewise it goes into our soul, causing our emotions to be put in proper balance so that they are not constantly of a negative quality, but they have love as a motivation underneath it all, motivating each and every emotion and causing them to be filled and complete in their spontaneity, but also in their ability to fill up that which we were created to be, which is emotional beings. So you have lots of emotions, but the underlying one that God created was love. So when love is the foundation, then all the other emotions are controlled by meekness, kindness, temperance, patience, endurance, joy, peace. And as God works that out in us, then our spiritual stability comes about because we put everything in order in the reality of knowing that we are spiritual beings that have been without a spirit when we were born which is why we were dying and when we are given the Holy Spirit which is the spirit that God has given us by way of being born again not of the flesh but of the spirit that Jesus promised us then we become Likewise, maturing in that we become a spiritual being that's growing up as our body is dying down. And as our body casts aside its flesh and no longer is fit for the world and dies, then we are fit for the universe and the creation that God had intended for us from the beginning of the world, which was to walk with him, to talk with him, to be in fellowship with him, because he is a spirit. And they that worship him, or they that know him, or they that walk with him, must know him in spirit and in truth. And in a nutshell, that is, you know, the gospel and the Bible and Jesus working out in us what he can do for us by providing a relationship to God, his Father, and to our Father who created us so that we would be no longer children of Satan, but children of God, walking not after the world, but after the kingdom that is to come, that we live in now, that we abide in this world as though we were strangers, but we move forward towards that destination that we have in heaven, which Jesus has prepared for us before the foundation of the world, and then he's gone to complete it by putting even our name on the very stones that would be there marking our way to that place of habitation to be with God. Now, how did I get all that out? <laughs> God, <laughs> and that's what you're like, and that's what I'm like, and God is in us, <laughs> and that's how you start your day, the way I start my day. <laughs>